Hello, my name is Matt Kelly. I'll be doing a monologue from The Lucky One by A.A. A. Milne. I believe in Gerald. I believe in Gerald the brother. I believe in Gerald the son. I believe in Gerald the nephew. I believe in Gerald the friend, the lover, Gerald the holy marvel. <laughs> there may be some brothers who don't mind that sort of thing. But not when you're born as jealous as I was. Do you think Mother or Father cares a damn what happens to me? Oh, sure, they're upset and feel the disgrace for themselves. But the beloved Gerald's all right, and that's all that really matters, isn't it? <laughs> You're surprised. <laughs> surprised? Oh, you would be. That's rich. You never stop to think about what other people are thinking. Do you think I like playing second fiddle to you all my life? Do you think I never had any ambitions of my own? I suppose you thought I was quite happy, saying, Oh, look at Gerald. Isn't he wonderful? He's my brother. They thought something of me when I was young, when I first went to school. I dare say, even you thought something of me then. They didn't think much of me when you came around. Oh, no, you soon put a stop to that, didn't you? And when we come home in the holidays, all the talk was of the wonderful things Gerald had done. It was like that at Eton. It was like that at Oxford. It has always been like that. I got away from you a bit after Oxford, but it went on just the same. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Farringdon? Any relation to Gerald Farringdon? And you thought I smiled modestly and laughed and said, Oh, yes, Gerald Farringdon, he's my brother. Isn't he great? They got you into the foreign office. They could have got me there. Aren't I the eldest son? Oh no, don't worry about the eldest son. Put him anywhere, put him in the city, as long as he's out of the way. If we have any influence left, we must use it for Gerald, the wonderful Gerald. Then I met a friend. Somebody who took me in for my own sake. And like a damned fool, I brought her down here. And she saw you. I might have known what would happen. Yes. You took her. After taking everything you could all your life, you took her. She was one more in the crowd of admirers around you, so you took her. You don't deserve her, Gerald. She was mine, and you took her. You took her away from me. Oh, guess what, Gerald? I want her back. Oh. Oh, God, I want her back. She's the only one. The only one, Gerald. The only one.